to the floor floor. called synergy this thing is about it's like a city build basically i love city builders i must admit uh synergy is a city builder where humanity must adapt to the ecosystem in a strange world explore and analyze your environment provide for the needs of your civilization your citizens basically so we're going to give this one a go this one i did get off a key mailer and um i asked for this one because it looked quite interesting so i wanted to give this a little play and see what it's like now i do like i've been getting it into my um my city builders anyway and i do like them some of them are a bit weird some of them are really really good actually so so here we go let's go into this one and see what this one's about shall we and here we go all right so we've got scorched earth anchoring or free mode all right a tutorial in essential farming via zone blah, 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 mechanics ensuring you have a rewarding game experience and a good understanding of your objects the anchoring an organization of researchers and philosophers called the anchoring anchoring has decided to reconnect isolation isolated populations help them acquire knowledge fight environment hazards and understand understand inexplicable phenomena I think we're going to go Scorched Earth, actually. Oh, no, that's a tutorial. So what do we want to do first? Should we just go back in straight into the story? I don't want to do Sandbox just yet. I'd like to give the story mode a go. Or should we do tutorial first? Why don't I do the tutorial to, the, to do the tutorial so we can get to understand what this is, then we can go on to this one. I think that might be a good idea, actually. So let's go continue on that. Right, um, learning the basics of the game, the score is only saved if the objective is reached in 40 cycles or less. You are getting victory, 1,500 points and 2,500 points for the best score, basically. So, so, a group of exiles who were driven out of the dried out oasis that had protected them until then needs to recover a so it needs to discover, re re recover despite their mean, meander, minga, oh, minga, mean it. Oh, God, whatever that is, resources. However, the climate changes them at every turn, and the desert is full of strange and dangerous mysteries. Let's give this a go, shall we? Sorry about that, I'm not very good at reading words sometimes. You would have to excuse me for that one. Right, here we go. End to wandering. The two generations, our community lived in an oasis protected from hazards of the outside world. But like everywhere else, we were driven out of our homes. All is not lost. After crossing the sea of sand, we reach the shores of some new lakes. No matter how toxic their water is, it will be pure bliss to us if we can treat it. If we can treat it. Okay. Right, getting water. Have a look at this your civilization your citizens need clean water to survive to get it you need to build a pantoon so your citizens can draw toxic water from the lake with special tanks toxic water must then be treated and purified in a purification basin to become clean water that your citizens can drink okay all collected resources must be stored in the water tower clean or toxic in the cellar food and clean water which are resources used by citizens to nourish themselves in a small warehouse all other resources citizens uh, uh, what take back in citizens do, don't collect resources if they have nowhere to store them okay that's good to know right move the camera to the water hole there's a water hole There's a water hole. Right, let's blue build a pantoon. So that would be the pontoon. So we would have to. Oh, there we go. Build that there. And a purification basin. I'll check out that is that. OK, 
Okay. Let me go here they come. And a water tower, which I go is that one there. Let's put the water tower there as well. There we go. Can speed up time, like you can with most of these games. So let's go pick to hide that. Uh, so we can speed up time a little bit. Let's build it up a little bit quicker. Yeah, this is just looking at it anyway. Can we? Oh, we can zoom out. That's good. They're over there. So we need to come closer, really. A bit far away. We're getting there. Start building up, which is good. Okay, that's done. Right, what do we need to do with that one? I'll have a look at that in a minute. Wait for them to build the other two up first. But we need to put somebody in there actually. We will wait for just a few moments so that we can actually. And that's done. Constructed that one. Okay, so I haven't got nothing in there yet. Let's put some. Um, Nobody we can put in there actually, so we need to put somebody in there as well. One person in there. Let's put two people in there. There we go, done. Which is obviously what we had to do anyway, so. Right, now we, we now own infrastructure, infrastructure structure to treat water as well as a healthy sustainable irrigation system however seasons come and go hectic and harsh and we risk a disaster if we don't collect enough supplies for immediate consumption to keep our buildings running smoothly we must store enough clean water to prepare for a drought this is understandable so we need to build two purifications by looks on things so yes right so we need to do another purification a basin which is this one and if we put that one give a back thing can we get rid of it We can't get rid of them, but we're going to do another purification basin. Assign two citizens to it. We've got we only got one person there. We've got one person in that one, so let's do this one. Put it down there, be better. Can we move these though? Um, I don't think we can move them actually. Mm, okay, maybe not. But right, anyway, let's make this one and we'll put this one over this side. We need to collect 20 clean water. What can that hold? That can hold 20. So we might need to um, make another one of these actually. Might be an idea. There, let's make two of them. Probably doing the wrong thing here, but we'll give it a go. See what we can do for that one. This is paths. Okay, so if we can do a pathway from there, there, there we go. Might make him go quicker. No, it normally does pathways seem to help a lot. I thought they're going a bit quicker actually. Right, so we've got. Right, so we need to assign somebody to this one. And they're working there. There we go. Now we've got somebody working there, so we can add somebody to that one. Got that one as well. So what's this one? They collect 20 water. OK, 
Okay, done. There we go. Obviously, we must have um, to make your water. The oasis, the oasis inhabitants have slept for too long under the stars. With only an expansive canvas to protect them from extremes of the climate. We need to provide shelter in sustainable buildings. For that, we will need materials as well as warehouses to store them. Heaps of rock can be potentially met, met uh, can potentially meet our needs, can be found all around the area. Let's use them wisely. Hey, okay. we've got rip out. Okay. Let's have a go with this, so. Okay, all right, let's have a look at this. So we've got. We can rip these out for a start off. And then three ripped out. I can't see any rocks to rip out. Aha, okay. Oh, these are rocks, okay. They're plants, so get these three to do that. I don't get a construction menu, I wonder what those that was then. Okay, so we've got to do, build a small warehouse, haven't we? Right, a warehouse. A small warehouse. Right, can we turn these round? Shift to turn the building round. Oh, we froze. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. For some random reason, it crashed on me, and it's... There we go. It actually crashed. Um, why, I don't know. Uh, but it did do sort of an update. Now I've got to do that all over again, haven't I? Right, here we go. Um, what's wrong with that? Okay, that's complete. I apologise for this, obviously it didn't... Um, so we've got uh, some... Let's get rid of these first, I think. And then we've got to go... Get them three. But then we also need to build a warehouse. So... Worked out shift is to turn it around, so we're going to put it there. Okay, so those ones are gone. Oh, they're seeds. We need a um oh sorry about that. Right, they're gonna go collect all these bits over here now. Like they're gonna be building that up. There we go. And the warehouse is being cooked, being done at the moment, which is good. You know, hopefully the stuff can get put into there, I suppose, including these seeds that have got pulled out as well. I don't want to do... I suppose I could destroy these and put them back again. Because I've moved all them bits out of the way. There's some rocks there, and they're building this up at the moment. I hope we also build that and they come and grab all these resources that are left here, basically. I'm hoping, anyway. What are they doing? They're nearly done to 56%. Let's um, speed it up to two, I think. Okay, it's doing that nicely.
quite a big sort of area to build in though. There we go. Yay! We did a thing. Right. Citizens need a roof over their heads. So we've got to build some houses then basically now. Protect them against rough weather and live in a decent conditions. Your citizens will go their home uh, go to their homes regularly to nourish themselves, eat, drink and sleep. Which makes the positioning of the houses quite strategic strategic. When they nourish themselves, citizens consume food and clean water. These resources are directly drawn from, the near, from a nearby cellar. This is why houses must be positioned within the range of a cellar. Okay. Looks like I need to do a cellar and then do the stuff around it, I suppose. I suppose there must be an area of effect thing for it. Uh, to nourish themselves, the citizens also need cellars to get clean water and food. Therefore, all storage automatically requires 20 units of each accepted resource type. The citizens can bring these in. In the storage interface, it is possible to change the number of required resources or even refuse or a resource. This can help to determine where resources are stored or prevent citizens from consuming certain foodstuffs. Okay, cool. Uh, since all resources must be carried by citizens from one structure to another, it is important to have enough citizens that are not assigned to any building and are therefore available as carriers. Citizens naturally prioritise your direct orders and then the tasks are considered most important. However, you may make any order or building a priority. For instance, your citizens will give priority to a building and collecting resources from a building marked as priority. Okie dokie. Now build a cellar. There's a cellar. Okay, so oh, that's got quite an area to it then, hasn't it? So we need to turn that round the other way. Okay, let's put it that way around then. I'll put that there. I'm going to get a little road. A road just there. Right. There we go. There's a road. We now need to build three houses as well. So, they're the houses. So, we have a stone house. What's the difference? It's got four people. Um, let's do a few of them to start with it. Do a road. I'll say like that. There we go. Storage. Um, what's that? Oh, that's them bits. What are you? Assignment tower. This is used to manage transportation resources. It's going to be assigned there as carriers. Ah, right, okay. So I probably need to build that next as well. Bring it back onto that for a minute. These are growing quite nicely. How are you? Right, what's in there? And clean water in there. 80 in there, I think. We've got 20 clean in there. No toxic in either of them. Doing that nicely. Okay. The field we bought with us is dwindling day by day, but picking the strange and prickly fruit grown in the area, not to mention eating it, it's risky. Before anything else, we must eliminate any danger related to explorer exploitation of these plants although we do not have a lot of scientific knowledge the oasis old distiller is able to perform basic chemical experiments equipped equipping it with a mobile workstation working station with which we could start our botanical studies okay environmental analysis 
Performing envir environmental analysis with a field laboratory enables you to discover the characteristics of nearby plants. Understanding the environment is the only way to get resources without causing your citizens to suffer or, dest or destroying the environment. The first analysis, the surface analysis, gives you the result of the ripout action and of harvesting action on plants. Service an analysis analyzes only provide information on harvesting action that are already unlocked. After unlocking a new harvesting action, you need to perform a new service ana analysis. The words are hard. To be available to citizens, harvesting action requires a harvesting building. When harvesting action is performed on a planet, the latter changes its growing state instead of being destroyed. This action is therefore more sustainable. Also, since the action doesn't destroy the plant, the latter sticks to the harvesting order. Therefore, citizens will interact with the plant each time it reaches a appropriate state of growth. Okay. Right, build a field laboratory. So where's the field laboratory then? There's a the field laboratory. Right. Oh god, you're a big area, aren't you? Um put you up near here actually. Put you up there. You would have picker's cabin. In the picker's cabin. That one there as well. And we've got to collect 20 watery pods, whatever they are. The ruins there. We'll soon find out what watery pods are. There's a water hole. Okay. Sign a couple of people to that. Okay, they're building at the moment. Add a couple of people to that one as well. Right, uh, analyze a plant that produces a watery pod. Um, maybe that one? How do I analyze it though? I don't know about that. We've got, we've got two people on that at least, so... How do I do this then? Oh, what was that? Beginning of a new cycle. Oh, the temperature's a bit... And I was... If I grab these and get them to trim them... Do that. Add... Let's do, let's do this one first, actually. Yeah, I'm analyzing both of them too, then. These ones are then. Okay, 
anything. Add that. Analyze that one then. Yeah, you're hungry. I'll get that. You'll have to wait a minute though. Yeah, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, the cinder sprout, whatever it is. Might be them. No. Rubbish over there. I'll just go over there in a minute. Okay, that's got um. So we've got these three here. Ah, that gives watery pods. Which is which one? It is possible, so we need to get these ones, so we need to pick these ones then. Which is these ones, I think. And they're the them ones. Um Okay, so that, that bark can be collected for building materials. And they do renew, which is good. Okay, go what's this one then? You tree allows it to cut its tree and use its bark. That's got to do a repair action. Okay, let's close that off. So we need to collect these then. Let's gather. How do I gather then? Um. I want to rip out. You want to gather them, not rip them out. Um, not any of that yet. There we go. I like them. No. Nope. Um, how do I collect? Um, I want to... Right, these are pickers, so let's go picking. Pick all them then. Get them picking them up. Speed up a little bit, shall we? Okay, go, speed up to two. Get them picking all these things up. They are picking the watery pods now, which is good. We gotta do, do a few more of these, actually. We need to get some more. Um, so do this again. Pick um, and them as well. Can't pick them then. Not to pick any more then. Okay.
Okay. Okay. There we go. Done. Awesome. Right. Uh, resource refining. Okay, to obtain certain resources, a refining stage, stage might be necessary. For example, tools crafted at a forge or dishes consumed by citizens prepared in the kitchen. Certain versatile production buildings can provide several resources. Production modules allow you to select the resource to produce and uh, the way to to produce it by choosing the recipe to use. This allows you to adapt the resources available in your environment. Okay. A building production speed depends on the efficiency, which it which is mainly influenced by its number of active citizens. Recipes can be affected by bonuses or penalties that impact efficiency. Cost the resources and the yield. These may come from several, several sources. Bonuses unlocked through research. Bonuses due to proximity with other buildings. Bad weather penalties. Okay. So we need to build a kitchen. We need to, I suppose that would be here. In the kitchen. Right. Where do we want to put the kitchen? Put kitchen here. And let's do a road. Go right there. Uh, build a forge. So we can put a forge over this way, I think. We we'll do another road from here. Go across there. Might be a good idea. So where's our forge then? Health, well-being, knowledge. Um, kitchen, forge. There's our forge. Do our forge there. The kitchen needs a person. How many people have we got actually? Doesn't it say? We have... We have 14 people. Four people in there, so four, eight, twelve. We, so we've got fourteen people. So we've got two people that ain't got houses or something. Didn't think there would be. Right, let's build another house then. Um, yeah, you can, you're just about in the um, range of that, aren't you? There's not enough people, bloody houses for people. Right, let's put a. Uh, person in that and let's put a person in that for now I'm not sure missing resources branches okay so we need to get this to no we need to get that no we need to actually chop that down don't we so we need that rip that out that out and that out should give us branches i think does it give us branches we have no branches where do we get branches from i assume okay another cycle come in as does that and that. Right, where do we get branches from then? They come from branches, so we need to do some more of these then. Two simple dishes, okay. 
How do I do 40 sim so pods do? You? Mm hmm Okay. What's wrong with that? Be two hundred in that one. people in there if we can and um, we have we need some more raw material so we need this to be collectors collect oh, i don't need that do we want the ripper out at all there get people come over here to um grab all these bits right down to one speed doesn't it spilled you up to about four then they can actually get going on it. Okay, there it goes. Run, 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 run. that in a minute. We've only got one person who can do that. Oh, you're picking it all up, that's good. Maybe it's picking this up. Why are you not picking this up? I can't pick that up anyway. I need um branches by looks on things. What else hasn't that got? Okay, so we need to any mushrooms, we ain't got any mushrooms either. And the bulbs. We haven't got anything that we can make. We need that stuff, whatever that is. Vegetables. Okay, so where are them? Not there. Would that be these things? Um, 
actually don't see anything that's got that on it. Maybe you can pick these up. Oh, you are going to come and pick them up. Well, thank goodness for that. I didn't have enough people to do it, did I? One person needs some so the rest of these can come and pick this lot up. There you go. Ah, thank you very much. Now that can get built. There's three people in that, which is good. Got this we can have a new cycle. Uh -huh. Good. Right, so we now have sixteen capacity for 16 people we only have 14 people at the moment but we don't know where to get that from I can't build 40 simple dishes because I don't have the resources for it how do we get that then Can you see anything that's got it on? I can't, personally. They're trees. There isn't anything that does it. In fact, no. That's really, really strange. First we need this stuff. Branches. That's the give branches. Oh, that does give that though. Um, like you. You need to go and pick a load of these. Away, pick away. I can you can hear my phone going off. Don't get that. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we we'll get somebody um, picking the stuff from here. Let's get. Two people doing that now, I think. Let's see if they want to come and pick some of this stuff up. Are they going to come over and do it? You're not. You might be, though. No, where are you going? Ah, you are doing it. Okay. Let's speed this up to four again. Hopefully we can start getting stuff done in here. So we've got quite a bit of bedrock. Burial, burial rock, I should say. We have no branches. I'm not actually sure where we get branches from. The branches come from these. But for some random reason, we don't seem to have any branches in here. Anyone bark? And calling balm. Put these up a little bit. How much is in storage? So, so I've got quite a big storage area, so which is good. So, can we cook yet? 
No, because we've got none of these in here, have we? We have mushrooms. Um... Wow, there's lots of stuff we can put in here, isn't there? It's the total capacity of that. So, we need to be careful. Rotten resources. Um... So where are you putting these then? If you're picking them, where are they going? Must be going somewhere, surely. Is that my oh, sugar? Um, okay, so we haven't got anything we can do then. Okay, so um, let's analyze this actually. Why is that? I don't have anything. I think it's going to be these, actually. All oh, picking up and doing well. I haven't got any branches though. Why don't we have any branches? We'll have a look at that. That gives um uh seeds and oh, so you got to rip them out then. Get the resources for them. That isn't what I need though, is it? What else can we analyse? Uh, what else have we got we can analyse around here? Cabbage shrub. Let's analyse that. That might give us what we need actually. I thought there were baby trees and they're actually not, are they? Well, that one gives us about give us what we need actually okay what we got there it is that's what we needed so let's have a look um this job will allow us to collect the edible vegetables as well as some plants this plant renews its produce of vegetables every life cycle by picking them it also possible to collect some plant waste which is rich in organic matter uh, trimming this plant allows for a more precise harvest. Well, just pick. We'll just pick these vegetables. Okay. So we need to pick these little babies as well. Then. No, it's not doing it, is it? God, thank. Okay, add this to the picking, shall we? See if we can get some of these going. There we go. See what that does, shall we? Uh, speed up four times again. I've got none of these though, it's the only problem. And I don't know why. So we need to cut some of these. So if we get this, that's a picker's cabin. Uh. 
I thought it didn't do anything. If I could actually, um... Can't do anything there. What's this? Oh, I put inventory. Ha ha ha! I didn't really see that before. I don't have none of these yet. Somebody's actually picking them now by looks on things. We're getting in now? No, we're not. Oh, we are. They're making them. They've got, they got a game coming in, sort of thing, so. Okay. They are doing something at least. They've got to collect tools as well, so in the forge, but I've got no woods. Can I just do this and um that's harsh, but I think some of these need to need to be picked out like that. Gives us some wood at least. We got any wood in here though? We have no branches. Why do we have no branches? Hey, our forge is going. Oh, because the branch got put straight into there. Okay. That's the kitchen going. These are just being picked normally, so I need to. Will these grow back though? I don't know if they're going to grow back or not though. They're being picked. I want to know how. No. No, get off that. Hmm. Go take that off the lot. Right, so I need to know how they can be ripped out. We got no more branches again, so oh, I don't know how to do this. Um it's just a picker. I'm not add anybody though. Hey, okay. What I don't do is join the city today. So I need to make some more beds. Uh, okay, basic needs. Yeah, okay, I'll let you read that. I'll leave that for a few seconds. You can read that as well. I can't read it anymore. It must write. Square, market square, botan botanic square. Okay. Develop the sticks for it. Who the is that? Okay, right. So I've got to build a cultural square. Where's the cultural square? That's what it showed me where the cultural square is. Uh, it's a forge. There's a cultural square. Five by five building. So if we build this here. a social district we've got some more people that have moved in so we can actually build some more another house there because some more people moved in so oh another cycle dry season 
I mean, we can get less water. Inventory full. I mean, it's full on here, though. Get water in here or not? I think what goes in there does it. Let's try that a bit more than that actually. 800 is the most you can do. He's done on that one and not far from that that's getting there as well so that's good that got, maybe we should need to make another one actually make a social district Another water tower, shall we? Okay, put another tower in. That's water, that's food, health, um, is Sun Ornic and an infirmary. We'll probably end up doing one of them soon. Canteen, the bench, table. Culture. crystal. Okay. This is one of knowledge. We've already got one of them. And these are decorations. What is district score? Where well, that would be up here, actually. Good area, isn't it? All right, let's do some um, more houses, I suppose. Got twenty. But right here, we have eighteen people. This is available for twenty. Let's build another. Welcome to the 4-4 